Hello, people of God, and welcome to another inspiring, Holy Spirit-filled weekend worship with the Harmonious Choral. My name is Amanda Ifuabroka, and today I am all by myself, escorted by the Holy Spirit, to bring to you today's edition of Weekend Worship with Harmonious Choral. We are live from the studios of Divine Media HD, and today I'm produced by my head of IT, Richmond Aila Kuzan. As you can see... My, my boss, Emmanuel, is not around. We have sent him on an, a very equally important task to go into other corners of the world with the message of the salvation of Christ. So wherever you are, Emmanuel, good day to you, and I hope you're keeping safe. Good day to the whole world watching. You're live on YouTube. You're live on Facebook, and thank you for joining us. Let's go for our first song for today, and we'll come back and introduce the theme. On this day of joy and gladness. Enjoy. That was a beautiful rendition from the Evergreen Harmonious Choral, conducted by Executive Director Sir James Barik Amar. Our theme for today is Jesus, a provider. Jehovah Jireh. Jesus, a provider. And our scripture for today, our scripture for today is Luke chapter 11. I'll read from verse 1 through to verse 3. Luke chapter 11, I'll read from verse 1 to verse 3. One day, Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. For me, I like, when I'm reading the Bible, I pay attention to every word. 
everything in the Bible is put just there perfectly so that you understand it with the help of the Holy Spirit. One key word that came to me was each day. One key word that came to me was each day our daily bread. He could have just said, give us our daily bread. Or he could have just said, give us bread. Or give us food to eat. But he said, give us each day our daily bread. Meaning that the Lord will provide for you on a daily basis. Minute by minute. Second by second. Bread, meaning food. Clothes on your back. A job that gives you income. Peace, security. Anything that you seek, he will give it to us on a daily basis. Have you ever needed something so bad that you turned everywhere and nobody seems, nobody seems to be able to give you? You call everybody. You see, there are times when you call somebody and the person, oh, hello. Um, and you, the person makes you say everything that you have to say. And the person's like, hmm. You should have called me yesterday because Andrea, yeah, I'm a school fees. And you're like, man, what will I do? Jesus is the provider. He is the only one who can provide everything. Bible says that he himself says that he shall supply all our needs according to his riches in the glory of God. Let's take our next song. Bethel Onyami. Wa won't call for dun na wonye zi. Oh wa e jat it in O God of Bethel, by whose hands thy people are fed. You are the God that has, was with our parents, our parents' parents, our ancestors, are entirely late throughout the years. Today we are praying that the Lord himself will be our God also in this current dispensation. Please enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
such blessings from our father's hand damisha na yesre o wa domin sim ye zo hie hie ni nyankopon na hen chepen afebo allow me to go back to my fancy my fancy land and speak my mother tongue such blessings those blessings that the lord provided for our grandparents our fathers our mothers over the years you know come to think of it our, 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 our mothers and our fathers didn't have the kind of technology and the kind of privileges that we have now but somehow they lived a very good life and we have all this and all this is also happening unto us we just have to go back to their source let me let, let's go back to scripture I'm reading from John chapter 6. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the, sem, um, the feeding of the 5,000. Let's, let's go back and see. Um, perceiving that, perceiving then that they were about to come and take him, no. So, a part of the scripture said that, um, you remember the feeding of the, of the, of the 5,000? When Jesus went to the mountain and, and he was discussing with the disciples and then he saw a great multitude coming um, 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 to him. And he, he asked the disciples, what, what, how are we going to feed these people? Well, I find, that, I find that question very, very interesting because imagine the owner of everything that we have, the God that we know, asking, so Amanda, how do you think we are going to feed all these people? I'll be like, straight. if, 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 if the disciples at that time, knew the kind of person they were working with. Straight away, they would have said, Lord, you know it. But they said, even, even if we go to the bank and withdraw all the money that we have, it's, it's, it's impossible to feed these people. And then somebody said, there is a little boy who has this number of bread and this number of fish. And again, I'm like, wait, that disciple, was he really speaking to God um, um, with the faith behind it that he's able to do? Or he, was, he was just throwing it at him just to, to, to laugh at him. And then he took it and he gave thanks and he shared it and you know the story and then at the end of feeding them and everybody was okay and there was even left over um, the people missed the point when i read it that's what i feel they missed the point where jesus was the provider they saw him as the king or the prophet that they were expecting to come you see sometimes we go to church and we go to church, we are very prayerful, and da, 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 da. we miss, we, we end up missing why we are even, who we are even praying to. We are more interested in the activity than who it is said for. So the people were coming to, he says that the people were coming to uh, carry him as the king, and he withdrew into the mountains alone. He withdrew into the mountains alone. Most of the time, people will say that um, Christians are supposed to be the wealthiest people in, in the world. They are not supposed to lack anything and all that. But why is it that some Christians, Christians, let me use that word. Why is it that some Christians serve God, but then they lack a lot of things? Are you aware of that? People serve God, but they are broke. There are people who are serving God. They've been serving God. They've been cleaning the church of God. They've been ministering the word and everything. By the end of the day, they don't. They don't even get to um, 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 enjoy the goodness of the Lord. Let me, let me take you back to scripture. Let me take you back to scripture. Um, Bible says that. Let me take you back to scripture. Bible says that. Seek ye first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all its righteousness. And all other things shall be given unto you. Seek ye first. It didn't say all other things shall be given unto you after you have sought. It's seek ye first the kingdom of God and all its righteousness. Who are you seeking? Who are you seeking? Are you just going to church because your father is a minister or because you belong to a choir and you sing in church? Why are you in church in the first place? Um... <coughs> It's a lot of discussion, but let's go back to music. Let's tell the Lord to tell us the old, old story recorded by the Harmonious Choral. Let's enjoy it and we'll be back.
Welcome back. And if you just joined us, this is the Weekend Worship with the Harmonious Choral. And we are live from the studios of Divine Media HD. And this afternoon, I'm produced by my head of IT, La Cousin Aie. Um, on the 12th of July, at exactly 5 o'clock, where will you be? In your houses. What will you be watching? You'll be watching the Harmonious Choral live on YouTube, bringing to you Festival of Praise and Worship, the virtual experience. We are joining you in your homes on the 12th of July to give glory and honor to God for preserving our lives throughout this entire first half of the year. It's going to be free. There will be no gate fee, but you need to get your data, relax at home, call your family and friends, and join us virtually to give thanks unto God. Prepare your hearts, prepare your dancing shoes. There will be a lot of surprises also as you already know us. I'm reading from Genesis chapter 22. Our theme for today is Jesus, our provider. I'm reading from Genesis chapter 22, the story where God tested Abraham. And as you already know, Abraham and his wife, Sarah, trusted the Lord for a long time to have a child. And in the, in, in the, in the long run, God provided Abraham with a son, and he called him Isaac. And then when a the child was born, at a point, Jesus and God said, Abraham, Take your child and go and sacrifice him unto me. If it was you and I, it would have been a whole lot of debate. But Abraham trusted the Lord and he obeyed. And then he, in Genesis chapter 22 verse 2, God said, Take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, I will tell you. Early, he didn't even question it. Early the next morning, Abraham got up and saddled his donkey. He took with him two of his servants and his son Isaac. When they had cut enough food for the burnt offering, he set out for the place God had told him about. I'm jumping to verse 5. He said to his servant, stay here with the donkey while and I and the boy go over there. We will worship and then we will come back to you. Um, verse 7 says, Isaac spoke up and said to his father, Father? And Abraham said, yes, my son. The boy said, the fire and the wood are here. Isaac said, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham answered, God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. And the two of them went on together. Abraham knew that the Lord will provide. He knew that the Lord will provide. The Lord asked him to go and sacrifice his only son. You need to trust that the Lord will provide to enable him to provide. And then he did provide. In verse 12, he says, in verse 11, But the angel of the Lord called out to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Do not lay a hand on the boy, he said. Do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. Abraham looked up. Abraham looked up. Abraham looked up, and there in the thicket he saw a ram caught by its horns. He went over there and took the burnt offering, sacrificed as a burnt offering. So Abraham called that place, the Lord will provide. And to this day, it is said, on the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. Amen. You need to, first of all, trust the Lord that he's able to provide for you. Whatever that you're going through, the Lord is able to provide for you solution to the sickness that you're going through. He's going to heal you. He's going to provide you with source of income to feed your children. Do not think about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. If you have confidence and trust in the Lord that he'll provide for you, he surely will provide for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's take our next song, a very favorite of um, a lot of people um, all over the, the, the world, and it was sung by the Harmonious Choral, Jatabrua. It's our next song. Jatabrua is our next song. Please let's enjoy it. Thank you. 
you just heard was composed by Osei Boateng, one of Ghana's finest composers. 
and this was sung by the Harmonious Crowd, of course, during the evening with Osei Boati many years ago. If you just joined us, this is the Weekend Worship with the Harmonious Chorale, and we are live from the studios of Divine Media HD. This is produced by my head of IT, Emmanuel Aila Kuzan. As you can see, I'm here all by myself today, escorted by the Holy Spirit, because Emmanuel is out there also doing something very important, equally important for the kingdom of God. My makeup was by Jedical Creations. You can follow them on Instagram and on Facebook or call them on 0542-994-819. 0542-994-819. And my earrings, my very beautiful earring, was given to me by Treble Blinks. Treble Blinks is on Instagram and on Facebook. Follow them. Order something for yourself, your sister, your partner, because there's nothing like too much jewelry when it comes to ladies. Or call them on 0247 422 The song we just listened to was, was found in Scripture, Psalm 34, verse 10. Psalm 34, verse 10, which says that the lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing you have to seek the lord you have to be under his protection and under his shield i always say that whatever covenant you have with whoever um, um, and whatever detail if you are signing a contract for instance with an employer whatever covering is in there is your benefit you need to first of all sign the contract to the employer before you benefit from whatever is being given you so you first of all have to sign the contract with God, give your life to Jesus, and then trust him to be your provider, first of all, and allow him to work in your life. Then he can be constantly become your provider. And I'm telling you, the Lord provides. Let me share this testimony with you. When I finished national service, I finished national service in like 2011, way back. For me, I think that the, the weeks after national service is the most confusing time of anybody's life. Because if you don't get a job where you are doing your national service, and you're not hopeful that you're getting a job after you finish. When you are done with your national service and they say, okay, thank you for the national service, please go home. It is the most difficult. And for me, it was, it was the most difficult time, I think, in my life. Because I had my grandmother living with me at that time. I had my junior brother living with me at that time. And the savings of national service, now you're here. To be able to hold you down, it was really difficult. And then I remember... Telling the Lord that, God, I need a job. God, I need a job. If you need a job, where, where am I even going to search in the first place? I trusted the Lord to provide for me. And he provided a job. I didn't even go out there going to look for it. Some, a friend of mine who was vacating her, her position, somebody I hadn't spoken to in a long time, called me and asked, Amanda, do you need a job? I'm like, yeah, I need a job. It's okay, I'm resigning for my position. Come and see my HR. Let's see if, if she likes you and all that. I, got, I didn't even spend five minutes in that, with that HR. I got there and the HR was like, oh, yeah, the new girl. Okay, start on Monday. And I'm like, oh, really? So I went to my, told my grandmother. My grandmother said, yes, she's been crying to God and been praying to God that the Lord should bless me with work. And he has been God since day one. So I can testify to you that the Lord really, really, really provides for his children. And I, I know he has provided for a lot of you in, in, in ways that blows your mind. You can share it on our social media platforms. And we are trusting that the Lord will use you to also bless somebody. On the 12th of July, 2020, at exactly 17 hours GMT, the Harmonious Crowd will come live into your homes with Festival of Praise and Worship, the virtual experience. COVID has closed a lot of churches and theater halls, but the Lord has enabled us and given us life to bring praise and glory to him live from the comfort of your home. It's absolutely free of charge. All you need to do is buy data, relax, call your family members, and enjoy the goodness of the Lord with the harmonious chorale. Um, let's go back to the program. Our theme for today is Jesus, our provider. We are trying to explain Jesus being our provider to the rest of the world. And we're going to take a composition by James Raikama. But before we do, my boss, Emmanuel Sanyako, is on the line. He has missed me already. <laughs> Hello, Emmanuel. Hello, Amanda. Good day. To Hello, you. Emmanuel. Hello, Amanda. Hi. How are you? I'm good. It's nice seeing you. For the it's past, very nice um, seeing you. You've missed me already, yes, for haven't the past you? 10 weeks. I do. I really do. I really do. I really do miss I you. I hope you're keeping safe. 
Yes, by God's grace. By God's yes. grace, I'm saved. So today, our theme um, is Jesus, our provider. We are trying to um, um, explain because his, his glory and his provision is beyond comprehension. We can't sit here yes. in a day and explain what it means to be the provider. But what do you think of the theme yourself? Um, I think it's a powerful theme and um, especially under this circumstance that we find ourselves where everything is failing. Um, economic systems are failing, which means people are going to um, go broke. Uh, they are going to lose money. They are going to lose jobs. This is where we need to really stand up and look at Jesus as our provider. And I think it is also very important that the scripture that you read from Genesis 22, you see, that was the first mention of um, the name God, Jehovah Jireh, God our provider. So to find out the circumstances leading to that, and um, as a principle of Bible interpretation, when you mention a subject for the very first time, it tells you that the circumstances around um, that, that, that subject is very important and you need to take it into account. So hey, look at Abraham. You rightly mentioned that Abraham was dependent on God for provision of a son. Not that Abraham couldn't give birth though, because Abraham had himself gone to do something yeah. and then he had one son already. Yeah. But there was a promised provision that God was supposed to give to Abraham. And Abraham waited for so long. Finally it came and God says, look, go to Mount Moriah and then go and sacrifice your son. So on their way, Isaac struck a conversation with his father and said that, look, this is the bent of, this is the firewood, this is the, um, the fire, where is the lamp? And Abraham made a statement, and I, I love how the King James puts it. So Genesis 22, 8, and Abraham said, my son, God will provide himself a lamp for a burnt offering. God will provide himself, underlined, God will provide himself himself a lamp for the burnt offering now before they went up to the mountain abraham told the servant stay here myself and my son we are going up the mountain to go and do something and he mentioned it to worship it tells you that along the route of provision is worship instead of us worrying about the lack the need the want if we will be able to focus our attention to God and worship Him, there will be provision. Make you His service your delight, and He will make our wants His care, as the MHB rightly says. And when He said that God Himself will provide a lamp, yes, a lamp was provided, and we need to understand that on Mount Moriah, in the present day Israel, on Mount Moriah, geographically, is in the same range as. Mount Calvary, where the ultimate provision, the sacrifice, was made. And you see, the sacrifice of Jesus made God's everlasting provision for us very complete. That is why when you said that if we seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, all other things will be provided unto us. So in a snapshot, God being our provider, right from the book of Genesis, where it was introduced to Abraham, was culminated when Jesus Christ came into the scene, and we need to totally depend on him for this provision. That's that sums up our entire sermon for today. But what you know, sometimes, in fact, mostly as Christians, as um, we ask ourselves why the Lord pushes us before He blesses us. Why do you think sometimes the Lord tests us? He pushes us into difficult situations before he shows us or provides for us. What, what, why is it that those things happen? Okay, so um, it's like, it, it's not as if God is the one pushing us into the difficult situation. Circumstances may push us there and waiting for us to depend on him. Let, let me give you an example. You see, when, when, when you're a child, and you can't feed yourself parents will feed you and the best way for your mother or your father to feed your 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 your, your mother carries you and starts feeding you Enjoy. Okay. when we grow we don't want to carry it anymore 
we don't want to be fed and we want to do things for ourselves by ourselves our own strength and then it makes god's provision or his willingness to provide very difficult not that he is not able to he is willing to but we are not opening up to him so instead of we going back and having that childlike faith we try our own and means to get what we want and then it makes the whole situation difficult but for us to be able to enjoy the total provision of God, we need to, as a child, come to him with that childlike faith. And with this, whatever the circumstance that we find ourselves, even if it is as though God is testing us, we will be able to scale this if we completely rely on him. If we have this childlike faith, he will give me the son, he is able to provide himself a lamb. Thank you very much for joining us, Emmanuel. We miss you already in the studio. Please hurry back and <laughs> let's do this. But thank you so much uh, uh, for, for joining us with that. Our next song is Oriti Che, and it is a very prayerful song that says that, Father, I hear that you are spreading showers of blessing as you are continually blessing other people and showing mercies to people. Don't forget about me also. Let those dues, refreshing dues of blessing fall on me, fall on my family. And fall on the people of Ghana. Or to chase our next song it was composed by executive director James Barry Kama. Please enjoy. Oh, no. 
Chiche, composed by the executive director of the Harmonious Chorale, Sir James Barikama. Good day to you, wherever you are, and your beautiful wife. We hope you're keeping safe. Recorded by the Harmonious Chorale on, I think, Adoration 1. Yes. If you want copies of our CDs, you can call any member, or you can call Kennedy on 0243-922-727. 0243-922-727. And we'll be more than glad to give you copies of our CDs. Psalm 23, verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his namesakes. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy, goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. If you just joined us, this is the weekend worship with the Harmonious Crowd. And we are live from the studios of Divine Media HD. I'm ably produced by my head of IT, Mr. Emmanuel Aila Kuzan who is the head of IT at the Harmonious Choral. My makeup today was done by Jedika Creations. You can follow her on Instagram and on Facebook or call her on 0542-994819. 0542-994819. My earring was given to me by Treble Blinks. Treble Blinks, follow them on Instagram and on Facebook or call them on 0247-422-328. 0247-422-328. One thing I've found out um, about the Christian life is that whilst you're waiting or believing God for something, what you do whilst you wait also counts. Okay? Whilst you are trusting the Lord to provide for you in the situation that you have found yourself in, be it um, your marriage, waiting on God to bless you with the fruits of the womb, academics, anything that you are trusting God for, whilst you wait, praise God. Whilst you wait, serve God. 
Uncle Phil just told me something some weeks back and said that, Amanda, whilst serving God whilst you're waiting is the process. So by the time that the Lord blesses you, whatever you are asking him for, he would have prepared you whilst you serve. It can be anything. Whilst you are waiting to be a member of a certain choir, you can be there like Richmond was, helping us during our fifth anniversary concert in Kumasi. He helped us look for accommodation. He was part of the crew helping. And look at Richmond, uh, Richmond now. He's the head of IT at Harmonious Choral. So he served whilst he waited. Okay? Don't, run, don't, don't be gallivanting about going, moving from places to places, looking for solutions to a problem and be praying to God at the same time. Like, who are you deceiving? You have a God who is readily available to help you with everything. He has said, go back to his word. Everything that you need to know about God and his provision styles, if I should use, if I should say, it's in the Bible. Go back to your manual. The Bible is the manual for the Christian life. That's all that we know. So whilst you wait, don't go and somebody to take you to the beach and be bathing you and be, you know, telling you your mother somewhere is the cause of your barrenness. Bible says there shall be none barren in the land. That's the scripture. Stand on it and hold God. Sometimes when I'm in need, I pray a very dangerous prayer. Father, if you don't help me, I'm going to embarrass you. That's the kind of prayer I'd, I pray when I need. And it's true. If, if I'm broke, I'm a woman. If I'm broke and I don't get money, I work. But if, if I find my situation in a fix and God doesn't help me, where will I tend to? You see, all sorts of things are going on. For you to know that God is your provider, you need to know that he's your provider. And you can only find out about him in the Bible because that is the only manual that we go by as Christians. I'm encouraging you. Spend quality time with the Holy Spirit. You can read a line or a verse a day. Let the Holy Spirit minister to you. You can be ministered to also through the songs of the Harmonious Choral. That is why on the 12th of July, 2020, at exactly 17 hours GMT, we'll be coming to your homes live with the Festival of Praise and Worship, the virtual experience. It's free of charge from the comfort of your home. It's your own space. Where are we here? <laughs> Just buy your data. Whatever makes you comfortable, you can order a drink. You can even order food from Ebe Foods. He sponsored our father's our Father's Day edition last week. You can call him on 0276-389-747. 0276-389-747. And let him supply lunch to you whilst you relax in the comfort of your homes to join us, praise God, and give thanks to God. Because it has been some kind of year, I tell you that much. It has been some kind of year. And because he has been able to take care of us and protect us and our families and deliver us from all the commotion in the world, he has only kissed <laughs> it's our next song. Yes, okay, Emma is our next song. And we ministered it at our Nyamiye concert um, years back by the Harmonious Choral. Please do enjoy. Oh, my God. 
back this is the weekend worship with the harmonious choral we are live from the studios of divine media hd for all your quality live streaming services please contact divine media hd they are on instagram they are on facebook in the course of the program i'll share their number with you also quality service at very affordable price <laughs> trust them they will deliver this is the weekend worship with the harmonious choral on the 12th of july at exactly 17 hours gmt the Harmonious Choral Ghana will be coming to your homes with Festival of Praise and Worship virtual experience. We are joining the whole world and our hearts together to say thank you to God for protecting us throughout this very confusing year. It has been a lot of struggle for a lot of people. Um, people a lot of people have lost their loved ones because of COVID-19. Um, a lot of people have lost their source of income as well. And it, 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 it looks like it's almost ending. We are trusting God that it will clear up quickly so that we can see each other's face and socialize and give glory to God. But on the 12th of July, hey, relax in your homes, um, order from Ebe Foods, um, let him deliver to your doorstep, and then just relax with your family members whilst we enjoy Festival of Praise and Worship, the virtual experience. It's at 17 hours GMT and it will be live on YouTube. All you have to do if you have not subscribed to our YouTube page is to go, like, subscribe, enable the notification for all our content and you're good to go. That's all you need to do. Just subscribe to our YouTube page, Harmonious Choral Ghana. Enjoy the content. There's a lot of content there for you. The Weekend Worship is also there. All the other episodes is also there. Just go and subscribe and 
pray with us that the Lord will use us to minister to a world that is almost broken and the Lord will use us to restore the world back unto his glory in Jesus name amen um, our theme for today is Jesus our provider and we ask some of you to share your testimonies in ways that the Lord has provided for you on Facebook and on YouTube so right now I'm going to go on YouTube to take some of your comments I'm here on YouTube um, Nana Koko Danso, <laughs> she says, hello AC, hello darling, how are you doing? Um, Extreme Productions Ghana says, nice one. Ooh. Jonas Imano says, hello, good afternoon HC, hello Jonas. Hilda says, my kind of music, yes it is. Mr. Etokapang says, it's another time with HC, what a time. Streaming live from Northern Cyprus Island, thanks for this weekend dose. Thank you sir for watching also. Imano Jonas says, watching you guys live from Fort Hood, Texas, USA. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching us. And I hope US is doing fine as well. Um, Clement Akesi says, great performance, HC. The greatest choir in the world. We are more than honored. And we bless God for that com compliment. Kojo Poku says, from New York. Oh, okay. May the protective hand of the Lord continue to be upon us all. And thanks to my favorite choir for making me happy every Sunday. Bless you, Ima, Amanda, and the crew. Thank you, sir, and may the God bless and protect you also. Nathaniel Nate says, God bless you all. God bless you too. Uh, <laughs> Kojopon says, that's Nanado's song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Prisla is saying, this is good music. Samadadi says, my dream choir. God bless you for your good work done. Keep the fire burning. Keep the fire burning too, Samuel. Rosemary Asante says, thank you, Harmonious Crown. May God richly bless you all. Yawa Trebuana. I hope I got your name right, says, my dad and I love this. We love you and your dad writes back. Thank you for watching. Um, Flan Senior says, this is my best African choral group. Thank God for my brother, James Raikama, and the entire HC family. Thank God for you too. And thank you so much for watching us every time. Um, Clemens is watching us from Abidjan. Thank you, Abidjan. Thank you so much. Um, Victor is watching us from Las Vegas, U.S., Thank you so much for watching. A lot of comments <laughs> this afternoon. Um, Patrick says, thank God for my brother James and this powerful choir. God bless you all. Reverend Dr. Joyce Aie says, one of my absolute favorites. Good afternoon to you, mommy. I hope you are doing well. Samuel says, it's always a blessing to hear from you. God bless you, precious ones. Waiting for 12th July. Oh, what a great day it will be. We appreciate you all. We really, really do appreciate you too. Thank you so much for spending time with us Sunday by Sunday and for inspiring us. We meet people. The, the, about two weeks ago, I met a lady in a supermarket. And she was like, hello, Amanda. I said, ooh, she knows my name. So I became, I, I went to her, I said, oh, hello. I said, she's been watching with her family every Sunday. Her mom is the alarm clock in the house. She tell you, oh, about and then everybody comes to the living room to watch. We thank God so much for everybody's life. And we pray that it blesses you as much as it blesses us also. I think for today is Jesus, our provider. Um... For me, I think that fear in these times is very common because all around us, people are dying, people are getting sick, people are getting infected. Now, even if you don't have um, um, uh, COVID and you cough, everybody is looking at you like, hey, 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 hey please, please, <laughs> not here. Everybody is afraid. It's, it's, fear is of the enemy. It's very normal to have a little doubt here and there that really is this thing going to be over and all that. But as children of God, I feel strongly that we are protected under the banner of God. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You, the, the devil will try to put nuggets of fears. He'll be dropping ideas into your head, which makes you sometimes doubt that is God really going to rescue us from this? Is there going to be an end to it? Be not afraid. It's what the Bible is saying. And that is what the Harmonious Quran is telling you this afternoon. Be not afraid. Let's enjoy it. Be not afraid, said the Lord. Be not afraid, my help is near. Be not afraid, Be not afraid.
the Lord. Be not afraid. Your help is closer than you can ever imagine. I know that in these times and, and even before the, the, the COVID broke out, we've had our day-to-day -day challenges. There has been situations that looks unbearable and there's no light at the end of the tunnel. I always say this, I lost my mom at a very crucial point where I had started bonding with my mother. My mom had me when she was very young, so we didn't have the chance to grow together like the perfect mom and dad uh, family like that. Um, just when I got into the university, that was when me and my mom were, you know, trying to build a relationship. And just at that point, the Lord thought it was a good time to call my mom home. I stayed out of church straight one, uh, one year. I didn't go to church because I never understood why the Lord could do that to me. And the Lord could do that to my mom, a prayerful woman like that. A woman, she was also in, in a choir, the, the, the evangel choir. She was everything. She was going to church. She was very prayerful. She trusted in the Lord full time. I was angry. I had a lot of questions. Why? 
it was cancer. The Lord had healed people from cancer. But he said, it's time, let me call her home. I stayed out of church straight one year. The one day I was having a conversation with a friend of mine, Abna, I don't know where you are, but please, if you are, look, if you are listening to me at this time, please get back to me. Let's, let, let's talk some more. I was having a conversation with her one day. She said, you know what? God actually knows why he does certain things. And if you allow him time, he's going to provide the answers. All the questions that you have, there's, not, there's no question that is too big for the Lord to answer. There's no situation too huge that the Lord will not be able to provide you. He's the one who created the universe. He created you. He created your mother. And so go back to God and ask him all the questions. Just give it time. And with time, I've been able to understand everything. I'm still, I'm still gathering um, 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 some answers for myself. But all that I'm saying is that there are some situations that look so gloomy. When you explain it to people, the people will be like, ah, yare we die, yanko. Ah, yare we, there's nothing. Why were you 18 years? Oh, 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 you are going to be single for the rest of your life. But who created you? Let me ask you that question. Who created you? God created you. He, had a, he has a perfect plan for you. I always say go back to your source. Because the Lord is able to provide. He's able to give you more, exceedingly more and abundantly more than you could ever have imagined. When he's delivering and when he's providing, he provides beyond expectation. He does more than the, the, the common person in the world can ever expect. That is when people will see you and give glory to their, your father who is in heaven. The Lord is more than able to provide. In times when you are in need and you are in doubt, where can you possibly go? All that we are saying is that it is the Lord who made you. He has opened his doors wide unto you. And so when people ask you, where is your God? When people ask you, where can you go for a solution? You, all you have to say is that you can go back to the Lord. And the Harmonious Choir is ministering to you, where can I go? That is our next song. Please enjoy. Where could I go back 
to the Lord. I'm singing, well, 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 good I know. back if you just joined us this is the weekend worship with the harmonious crowd and we are live from the studios of divine media hd for your, all your quality live streaming and online services do contact them follow them on instagram and on facebook divine media hd and this afternoon i'm produced by my head of it mr richmond ayilakuzan <laughs> today for the first time in a long time he's in the studio he usually produces from the house but <laughs> My makeup was done by Jedica Creations. You can follow her on Instagram and on Facebook, Jedica Creations. Or call her on 0542-994819. 0542-994819. My earring was given to me by Treble Blinks. Treble Blinks is on Instagram and they're on Facebook. There is nothing like too much jewelry for a woman. You can buy some for your wife, your partner, your friend, or me. <laughs> or call them on 247 328-0247-422-328. On the 12th of July at exactly 17 hours GMT, the Harmonious Choral Ghana will be coming to you live in the comfort of your homes with Festival of Praise and Worship, the virtual experience. It has been somehow, the year has been somehow, but look at God. We are already entering July to the glory of God and he has protected us and our families. He has enabled us to do exploits with his hand protecting us so we are joining you in your homes to give all the glory and all the praise to god it's absolutely free of charge all you need is data and stay in the comfort of your homes 
order food, order drinks, whatever makes you comfortable, and let us give glory unto God. Our theme for today has been Jesus, our provider. Jesus, our provider. We have uh, Osanyako um, joined us um, virtually a couple of minutes back, and he, he came through with his, his, his understanding. And we are praying that the Lord has used this session to bless you also. Now, are you not surprised how the blessing of God, like there is more? Like whatever, when God provides for you, it, it, there is more. Whatever he provides for you, there is more. Okay, let's, let's, let's go back to scripture. Romans chapter 8, um, I'll read from verse 30. Romans chapter 8, verse 30. And those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. Okay, whatever the Lord provides, whenever he provides, he adds on. So he calls you. Then he predestines, he calls you. Then he justifies you. Then he qualifies you for, for heaven. He doesn't just leave you like that. So day by day, he gives you bread. Then he protects your family. Then he blesses the work of your hand. Then he gives you a new song in the morning. His favor is renewed every morning. And that's why we can trust him to be our provider. He has promised in his word that he will take care of us. And we do not go anywhere but to his word. That is why we are relying on the promises of God. That is why we are relying on things that we have heard him do for others. And we are trusting that he will do the same for us also. Obos shared by Reverend Dr. Nilav Anan is our next song. And this song is a very prayerful song that says that because of the things that we have heard him do, because of how we have seen him bless others, and because of his promises in the Bible, that is why we believe in him. That is why we believe that he's able to protect us and show us in these times of uncertainties. Woboshe by Reverend Nilav Anan is our next song.
Welcome back from that very powerful ministration, Oboshe, composed by Reverend Nulam Anan and ministered by the Harmonious Choral Ghana. We are just about running up things here. This is a weekend worship with the Harmonious Choral, and we are live from the studios of Divine Media HD. This afternoon, my makeup was done by Jedika Creations. Jedika Creations, you can call her on 0542. 994-819-0542-994-819. Follow her on Instagram and on Facebook as well. My earring was given to me by Treble Blinks. Treble Blinks, call them, follow them on Instagram and on Facebook and call them on 0247-422-328, 0247-422-328. A very good afternoon to everybody watching us on YouTube and on Facebook. And a very big thank you to my producer for this afternoon, the head of IT at the Harmonious Choral, Mr. Richmond Lacuzan Ayi. And thank you for all the work that you do behind the scenes before we come on set. Thank you to Uncle Theo and thank you to Eric and everybody at Divine Media HD also. Sunday by Sunday, making it possible to come into your beautiful homes with a weekend worship with the Harmonious Choral. Our theme for today has been Jesus, our provider. And I'm reading Philippians 4, 19. We are just about running up. And my God will meet your needs according to his glories, according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. And my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Let me break it down. It means that my God will meet, which means that he will supply, provide for, accomplish, and complete all your needs, your necessities, your tasks, your health, your job, your, your, your family, your love, according to his glorious, bright, majestic splendor, riches, wealth, abundance in Christ Jesus, the ultimate sacrifice. Our God who created the entire world and designed you and I with such purpose and intent can provide, will provide out of his richness, fullness, wealth, and treasure for every single need that we have. He gives us favor and lines up our pathways to be in the right place at the right time. The Lord miraculously accomplishes so many things for us every day that we may not even be aware of. And he will bend over backwards just to give to us out of his abundance, whether we realize it or not, because God loves us. I want to encourage you and I want to tell you that the Lord is able to provide all our needs according to Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. All our needs according to his riches in the, in the kingdom of God so that we can give glory to the Father. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know the deepest heart desires that you have. But I'm here, the Harmonious Choral is here, Divine Media HD is here to tell you that the Lord is able to deliver. He's more than able to provide for you in these uncertain times. Watch what you do, where you go. Pray that the Holy Spirit will guide you to be at the right places at the right time. Watch the people around you because mostly the Lord uses the people around you to bless you. And when he does provide for you, do not forget to give thanks unto God. Constantly give thanks unto God for he's the only one deserving of your praise and your thanks. My name is Amanda and I've been more than blessed to be your host this afternoon on the weekend worship of the Harmonious Crowd. On the 12th of July, at exactly 17 hours GMT, the Harmonious Choral Ghana will come into your homes with Festival of Praise and Worship, the virtual experience. We are joining the whole world and we are joining our hearts together to say thank you, Jesus, for protecting our families and our loved ones. We may have lost a lot of people, though, and a lot of people are still affected by the COVID-19. They've been infected and have been affected also. But we are trusting you because you are the ultimate provider. You will heal us and heal your land so that we can all meet to give glory unto Jesus. I pray that it is well with you as it is with your soul. May the Lord provide protection. May the Lord provide enablement. May he speak to us in ways that we can understand. And please, do stay, stay, stay safe out there. Wash your hands with soap under running water. Maintain your social distance. Be very careful. Wear your nose mask when you go out there. And please, for the love of God, COVID-19 is still out there. We are trusting the Lord to deliver us. But please, let us also do our part to help keep the spread. If there's anyone out there whom you know have survived this, this is not the time to stigmatize the person. Draw the person closer to you because that is what the kingdom of God expects us to do. Thank you so much for blessing me with your, your time, your data, 
and your comments. We are very grateful from the Harmonious Square and from the studios of Divine Media HD. It's a wrap. Have a blessed week, people of God. God bless you.